This is Air Rail Images Video Magazine number 35. I'm Fred Johnson and I'll be your host. U.S. Air Force B-52H Stratofortresses assigned to the 2nd Bomb Wing departed Barksdale Air Force Base, Louisiana, for the U.S. Central Command area of responsibility on 9 December 2020. The CENTCOM area covers more than 4 million square miles from Egypt to Kazakhstan and covers a large part of the Arabian Sea.
The U.S. Navy Blue Angels pilots and support officers trained in the manned flight simulator at Naval Air Station Patuxent River, Maryland, in December 2020, as part of the team's transition to the Super Hornet from older Legacy Hornets. The team conducted maneuver training and practiced emergency procedures in keeping with the strict safety standards of their flight demonstration. A B-1B from the 419th Flight Test Squadron releases a joint air-to-surface standoff missile during an external release demonstration at Holloman Air Force Base, New Mexico, 4 December 2020. Five F-35A Lightning IIs assigned to the 356th Fighter Squadron landed at Ileson Air Force Base, Alaska, 16 December 2020. All Ileson F-35s are on schedule for delivery by December 2021. Now the count of F-35s on Ileson is above that of the base's F-16s. We received this video with no ambient audio. Hope you enjoy our seasonal music selection. In Washington State, the Yakima Valley Trolleys, YVT, need help to fund the restoration of a 1912 Brill streetcar, like the ones that served the city more than 100 years ago. Yakima's other two trolleys, numbers 1776 and 1976, have been running continuously in Yakima since 1974, after serving a lifetime in Portugal. They could use a breather for their own maintenance and upkeep, and here's a chance to help. The trolley organization has been promised $150,000 if it can be matched by donations by June 2021, and every dollar helps. Otherwise, the $150,000 matching grant goes away, a Yakima Valley trolley spokesman explained. The recently acquired trolley needs extensive electrical and mechanical rebuilding as well as major bodywork. A railroad museum with experience in major restoration is set to do the job once the funds are secured. The Yakima Valley Trolleys Organization is a 501c3 charitable organization that serves historic preservation, education, and tourism in Yakima, Washington. As of the time of this video program, donations may be made by visiting the Yakima Valley Trolleys website. The McDonnell Aircraft Company, later McDonnell Douglas, now part of Boeing, expressed a fondness for paranormal or spooky aircraft names. This may date back to the company's ambitious XP-67 fighter design during World War II that is occasionally referred to in texts as the Bat or Moon Bat, although the official nature of such a moniker is unclear. Nonetheless, McDonnell ran through a list of such names with its ensuing jet fighters, including Phantom, Banshee, Goblin, and the F-3H Demon. McDonald's first foray into swept wings for fighters, the XF-3H Demon was designed to use one Westinghouse J-40 turbojet engine. The J-40 failed to develop into the high-performance power plant that was envisioned, and early F-3Hs with lower-rated J-40s were considered overweight as a result. First flight of the XF-3H-1 was 7 August 1951. The original 56 production F3H1s used J40 engines producing around 7,200 pounds of static thrust. 
A switch was made to the Allison J71 engine rated at 9,700 pounds of static thrust for the F3H-2. A number of F3H1s had already been re-engined with the higher rated Allison product before the F3H2 made its first flight in the summer of 1955. What resulted was a reasonably viable swept-wing jet fighter for the Navy, carrying four 20mm cannons in the nose and later Sparrow and Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles. The primary mission for the F3H1 was listed as the destruction of enemy aircraft. The 239 F3H2s could be configured as strike fighters with air-to-ground ordnance. The F3H2M was Sparrow equipped capable of carrying four of the supersonic missiles, and the F3H2N included sidewinders in a limited all-weather fighter role. The F-3H pilot was enclosed in a pressurized cockpit, an ejection seat and automatic pilot were furnished. The F-3H was designed with a simple upward wing folding mechanism that increased the number of demons that could be stowed on an aircraft carrier. 64 F-3Hs could be accommodated on the hangar decks of a World War II Essex-class carrier, a number of which were upgraded with angled flight decks in the 1950s. The F3H2N's wingspan was 35 feet 4 inches in flight, reduced to 25 feet 4 inches for hangar deck stowage. Maximum speed listed for the F3H2N by the Navy was 628 knots at sea level. The F3H was a subsonic performer. In 1962, nomenclature for Navy aircraft was revised and the F3H became the F-3. More than 500 demons came from the McDonnell assembly line in St. Louis. In service well into 1964, demons complemented faster fighters like the F-8 Crusader and F-4 Phantom II, McDonnell's successor to the demon. Thanks for watching Aerial Images Video Magazine number 35. We hope you'll watch the rest of the Aerial Images Video Magazine issues on the Aerial Images channel.